Well, I mean, I was hoping a ton of people would come so that they might actually understand this. Uh, I am recording. Um, I do not plan on sharing this out uh, publicly on YouTube. I don't think there's a need to when there's only less than 20 people who will ever get a Founders Token. So I don't think there's a need to, but I am recording it. I probably will put it on YouTube as a private video and link to that. Um, but anyways, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so on to uh, what you were just saying about making this thing real and, and actually getting some meat on the bones. Um, so Founders Tokens, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created some uh, 20 Founders Tokens. Um, right now on the Chia blockchain, as I think I've said before, um, the NFT standard is being finalized and it will be out soon uh, is the best answer I can get um, is actually uh, end of Q2 this year. So uh, hopefully within the next couple months, we will have an, an NFT standard that's been released. Um, these tokens will, I will make it so that you actually trade it for a real NFT. And um, you know, you can show that off wherever. Uh, and uh, you'll be a, a part of this thing. So I've made 20 tokens. And those tokens, um, I made my list based on the Shangri-La roll. So at the time when I made those 20 tokens, I'm glad I made a, a few extra because there were 14 people. Uh, and I just checked earlier today. Now there's 15. So congratulations to whoever that one person was. Um, I doubt they're here, but they might be listening in the future. Yes, I'm talking to you from the future um anyway so um that's that so what the founders token is is really just a just a, a thing you have it doesn't really mean anything it doesn't do anything it's just something that you have um it's it's a bragging chip to show off to whomever um Eventually, when the NFT standard releases, there will be a um, tax NFT, and there'll be a tax NFT for each year. Um, if I get to it before then, I may release kind of the same thing with the tax token as I did as I am doing with the founders token, um, and then just turn that into an NFT later, which then you will trade. So. Uh, if we get into how you actually claim it for me, Roger is the only one who's claimed it for me. I've had a couple of people reach out like, okay, I think I have everything. Um, and uh, no one has had everything that they need in order to claim it from me. So uh, now is where you need to pay attention because this is where I'm going to explain it um, on, on how to get what you need. The first thing you need is a, a Chia wallet. The second thing you need is um, XCH, some uh, Chia token. Um, you can go out and just buy Chia. Um, right now, one Chia is trading at about $65. Um, it's been hovering around $60 to $70 for the past month or so, I'd say. Um, and uh, you could just go out and buy it. But there are free options as well. Um, and I will show that as well. Uh, once you have your wallet and once you have um, some XCH in your wallet, um, you will then trade that some of that XCH to me. I will give you a founder's token. Um, and then, uh, like I said, later, we'll trade that for, for the uh, NFT. So I'm going to share my screen for the purposes of the recording. Okay. So uh, if you go to chia.net, um, you see right here is... Um, right there is a download button. Um, this works on uh, Mac, Windows, um, many flavors of Linux, Unix. Um, 
There's even a flavor on uh, Raspberry Pi. You can actually run this on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and I think, Marie, you were the one who had a question on, um, there's two Mac versions. Uh, basically, yeah. the, the newer version of the Mac um, uses an Apple chip. Um, so those are, within the past couple of years, um, Apple has switched over to their, to their own chip in the computers. So that will be the, this um, Apple Silicon. Otherwise, um, the, the Intel one works. Um, if you have a question, you can just put it into like Google, um, you know, what, what computer you have, your model number, you could probably put in and, and get what you want. But um, as you can see, so you go ahead and download the wallet. Um, once you download and install the wallet, uh, which looks like this, let me change my share. Should just share my whole screen. Script. I'm going to share my whole screen. Living life on the edge. Um, once you download and install it, you will be presented with a screen that kind of looks like this, but not too much because you don't have anything actually on it. Um, this is your wallet. Um, it you will go through and you'll set up. Um, uh, a seed phrase, which is, I think, a 24 word phrase. Make sure you save that somewhere um, because you will need it. Like, if you ever have an app on your phone um, or if you want to download this on another machine, if you want to access your wallet on any other device, you will need that, that phrase. So, make sure you uh, save that somewhere. Um, you also get a um an address so this is um a couple people that have come to me it was someone came to me and said uh here's my wallet address um and it, i think it was like an ethereum wallet address so all the chia wallets will start with xch um right here and then it'll be uh, this big long string of letters and numbers so that will be the address you can give to me um, to claim that token. Um, now, as you can see in here, I have a sizable chunk of, of XCH. Um, I have spent weeks, probably closer to months, um, collecting this. Uh, I have not paid for anything. Uh, this has all been free. Um, so the way you get, you, you'll start off with a balance of zeros all across the board. So the way you get some test um, X, or not test XCH, but actual XCH is you go, you can go to this link, chialinks.com slash faucets. Um, in here is, a, I think, eight or ten um, links to faucets, and faucet is just where they give you some XCH. Um, some of them, like this one, you can do three times daily. Um, uh, this one, I think, is every hour you can claim some. Um, uh, there's one here that's a Discord bot. So you go into the Discord and you type in whatever command. You give them your wallet address, and then uh, they will send it right over to your wallet. So you can go to any one of these. Um, I have visited all of these today, but uh, this one should be available for me to, to do. So you just go to this, uh, you can enter your wallet address, usually there's the CAPTCHA, uh, and then claim that. So if we go to this one, because uh, I probably can claim it, because it only takes an hour, you do the CAPTCHA, ship, 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 ship. Uh, and then it'll uh, roll these five numbers um, and give you an amount. So if it's between this amount, you get that much, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's just unique to this one. So I got that much. So this website, this faucet, um, keeps it up until you get to a, a certain amount. 
Um, I think the amount here is, um, it's a five zero, uh, will get you, then you can withdraw it into your actual wallet. Um, so I've just claimed this. And as soon as I reach that threshold, I can, uh, export it to my wallet and then it will be there. Um, uh, this one. No, paste that in. So that's how you get. Um, that's how you get some XCH, and then you'll start seeing your amount climb. Um, now, I have, as I said, um, nineteen founders tokens um, ready to be claimed. Roger again is the only one who has claimed any. Um, I have a set amount um, that I will request from you, um, and it will be available in an offer. And Roger kind of talked about this earlier, but didn't really explain what it was. An offer is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, I am offering this for that. So in this case, I will give you one founder's token if you give me however much XCH. Um, so I am in the process of making um, offers for everyone. So, you know, when when people are ready, they say, OK, I'm ready. I will give you a link to an offer file. Um, and as Roger said, there's like. Um, there's there's a few of them, but this is just one of them. So I will give you access to an offer file um, and then you'll take and accept it and then eventually it will come out of my wallet um, so i will go down to 18 and then it will show in your wallet now you may have to go in and um you know check the box next to it um roger can you confirm whether you needed to do that or not uh Let's see. I needed to. Um, I had to accept the offer, mm -hmm. and I don't think I had to do anything else. And I'm pretty sure it even populated the token. But then I had oh. to rename the token because it, it gave me like cat four two five six seven eight four blah, 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 yeah or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I just renamed it who founder token. Okay. But I think it's supposed to eventually do that automatically. I think because it wasn't on chain. I think, yeah, I think because it wasn't reflected on HCH or anything, so the client couldn't even confirm what it was. Oh, okay. um, but then I think it updated. I okay, think. so so and pretty much it, it, it was it's all automatic. Now, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was pretty automatic. So, uh, yeah, if, if all you need to do is change the name, then, then that's fine. Uh, and as you can see, I have some other stuff in here. Um, uh, Roger, you probably recognize these two, the, the Compassion Cat and Green Wings. Um, yeah, I've uh, got those two. Yeah, so... You I got just, marmots? How'd you get marmots? I, uh, I won a contest. It's nothing, but I won a contest, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. But, um, so, uh, just as of note, one of the websites that is on that faucet, uh, is this one right here. Um, I, it, I, I don't quite understand what it's doing because I tried to export, um, quite a sizable amount, 2.552, whatever that amount is over to, to my wallet here and to my normal Chia wallet and it never came over. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there and I need to confirm. So, um, if you do use that, the, that faucet, it, there's one literally called Mojo Jojo, um, then it may not come to your actual wallet. So just be wary of that. Okay, um, so you've seen creating a, a Chia wallet, getting some XCH, um, and how to uh, claim that from me. Now, just some of the, some of the back end stuff. Um, as Roger just said, this is confirmed on chain. On chain just means that the Chia blockchain actually recognizes it as an actual 
token um, as an actual coin, as an actual thing on the blockchain, um, whether that's an an NFT or a coin or whatever, but it is recognized on the Chia blockchain. Um, so uh, there's a few websites that allow you to take a look at uh, some of those things. Um, this is one of them, Space Scan. Uh, as you can see, this is so Roger, I think when you claimed it, it said like token 461 dot dot dot, right? Um, so that was the actual token ID um, that is reflected on chain. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit right here, we see, um, you know, there's 19 and one. So this I'm assuming is Roger's and these are my 19. Um, so that's just what's going on there. So um, these are more um, offer, like if you wanted to make an offer for that founder's token to something else, I'm not going to stop you. Um, that's up to you. Uh, like I said, if it really doesn't mean anything, um, it's just kind of fun and neat to have. But this is also a learning experience for some of the other stuff that we are going to do on the blockchain. So um, while this may seem trivial, it is a building block to bigger and better things. Um, uh, another site um, that actually crawls the blockchain and um, uh, shows it in in a more visual way is uh tail database tail database um uh, i had to make an account um and actually claim it um and same thing over here so uh i made an account and claimed them uh as ours so i could you know uh give it a website and a Twitter account, um, things like that. So, um, you know, these are just a, a couple of things to uh, visually show um, that information on the blockchain. Um, if you want to get really nitty gritty and nerdy, um, this is what the code looks like to make this thing. Um, this is in a language called Chia Lisp. It's based off of an old, like 50 year old uh, development language called Lisp. Um, they've kind of taken it and tweaked it a little bit uh, for Chia. Um, and then this, the CLVM is Chia language Rocky? something. Chia language something. Um, I forget exactly, but it's the encoded version of the Chia Lisp language. So it takes it and then like compresses it, compiles it uh, into this. Uh, and it means something to um, both to Chia Lisp here and to the blockchain, which then decodes that. Um, so that is that. Does anybody have any questions on it? Did I do it right? I sent you a message. I think I actually did it right, like the first time. Um. So the first time, I think. Um, oh, not that time. No, I sent you the ETH, the ETH wallet, but like the next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I I think it's pretty straightforward now. Oh, I do see you did send me a couple messages. Um. Yes, that looks way better. Um. That looks way better. So yeah, I would just say uh, hit those faucets, get some XCH rolling in, um, and uh, then once you get enough, I, I think I sent you exactly how much. Um, I forget how many zeros in front of it, but zero point whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, no, I didn't send it to you. But anyways, and I don't I don't know exactly how much it is off the top of my head, and I'd have to go digging. But there, um, it's it, it costs money. It costs some of my actual time and energy to go make these things because to make them isn't free. So I'm 
that's why I'm exchanging um, XCH for one of these is because it actually cost me some XCH to get it. So I'm just kind of recouping some of the costs in it. Um, but yeah, I would say, and, and I think Marie, you're being the only other person on the call who doesn't have a, a token. Um, does that make it clearer for you? Maybe, no, Marie? Can you hear me? Yeah, I do now, yeah. <laughs> I saw <still have> problems <laughs> navigating Discord. <laughs> I okay. figured you were still muted. Yes, so, um, so I have my Chia wallet and yep. I tried to do that faucet thingy last week and it didn't work. And I just did it now again with all those links and it looks like I have something confirmed. Okay, cool. Yep. So I, I would say just keep doing that. Um, and then I send you my address. Send you that. Yep. Send me that XCH, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, okay, I'll send you that now. Yep. And, uh, and then once you have, once you think you have enough, let let me know how much you have and i'll tell you if it's enough <laughs> um okay. and and i think this this also is um is a good discussion to have too roger uh you and i were talking um about starting to mint some of the actual hoof uh on the chia blockchain um and again that's not free um so if you saw on my wallet i think i had like point zero zero one um no three zeros point zero 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 one um which is may not sound like a lot it's not super expensive um to to make some of these tokens but it still does cost something um and so if we put the entirety of hoove on the blockchain it would probably deplete my entire wallet um and I, some of the discussions that Roger and I were having is, um, you know, as I get some of this um, XCH from people who are claiming their founders token, I think it's also a good exercise for people to continue hitting those faucets and getting some of that XCH. And we may, uh, I may reach out to you or Roger may reach out to you and say, hey, can you just give me some because I'm all out of money here um and and we need to do this uh, so um maybe there are better ways to do it um in fact i know there are better ways to do it there are faster ways to do it i should say um but i think i think by doing this it's a couple minutes a day um to hit those uh, faucets and to get some xch in your wallet um and if i come to you and say, hey, can you give me some so I can actually put more hooves on the blockchain? Um, then I then I hope some people have some some uh, XCH for me to to take uh, so I can continue to do this. Um, so yeah, Roger, anything else on that topic or any other thing that I was saying? I mean, yeah, it, it it takes minutes, and if you're at your computer, anyways, you know, just keep keep your wallet address copied to a notepad or something, and you know, just when you wake up, go ping the faucets and collect and collect and collect. And if we all collect together, we will very quickly get enough to be able to mint all two hundred and fifty thousand hoof tokens. And if we can get all those minted and we can get all those out there, we're going to be good. When NFT projects come up, you know, that's going to require XCH2. So we can all just hit our buttons every day and, you know, get those things minted and we'll go. Eventually in the future, some you know, people are going to come to us and want to do NFT projects. And the first thing we're going to say to them is go get all the, go get all the faucet XCH mojos you can so that we can get all your, your NFTs minted. Um, you know, we're going to have the design team here and you pay them an AR and you're going to have so a couple of dev people be able to get these, these tokens built for you. But your job in this NFT project is to go collect some XCH so that we can actually mint them. Um, so, you know, eventually 
th- this will all be kind of part of the process, but we should, you know, if, if it's just Matt and me doing the faucets, it's going to take us forever. And that means a longer time. It'll be until we can all cash in our hoof token, cash out our hoof tokens when we get them from our taxes. Cause you know, if we're paying $800 and getting 800 hoof, but there's no place to trade it. Um, because we have no tokens and they're just figments of our imagination, you know, we, that kind of hurts. So was, a lot of this is on us to get it going is and out there and, and liquid as quickly as possible. So that, you know, we, if we want to hold it, hold it. But if you want to just pay your 800 to get your tokens and then cash them out for maybe a little profit or even a little loss in holding your duty, you know, that's a, that's a new decision. Um, but, uh, you know, what's that thing where all the, people get around in a circle like light is a feather stiff as a board that that's what we're playing here so let's, many let's... hands light work okay sure yeah yeah, yeah. I, I guess i was always playing with the with um you know like it's not it's not even okay to say i was playing with the girls a, a, anymore because i don't i don't know i was um i i didn't get to play with the boys whatever i hate you all <laughs> i'm going to my corner <laughs> we love you too um <laughs> Matt, can we put the maybe the um chialinks dot com slash faucet on the on the links thing so we can just like go there and click on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I may make uh, yeah, I I probably will do that. Like that. It might be the easiest. I'll probably just pin it. Um, well, I think that message is pinned to the top anyway. But anyway, um yeah, I I think that you know, you two, three who are here um plus me us four um you know we could we could hit those faucets all day but it's still gonna take us a long time i think i think this is not only a civic duty to go and collect your chia your xch from the faucets but i i really think it should be part of everyone's um who's who's a hoover um i think you know if we're going to be dealing with all of this stuff on the Chia blockchain, then we really need to all be part of it. Um, and maybe it's the people who are the Shangri Las uh, who are really contributing the most to to these things. But um, I I really eventually I would like to see any Hoover come in and it's like, okay, here's your name. Here's your address. Here's where we're paying you out if if um, we need to pay you out. Here's your here's your Chia wallet address. Here's this. Here's that. Right. It's just all there, so we can um, just have that information um, if if we need it. Cool. Okay. Well, it sounds like you two are on the right path. Yes, Marie, that's that's the right format for the address. Um, so just keep hitting those wallets. Um, oh, yeah, I got more. Yeah. Wait, wait me, was I the second one? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I so you, Marie, and I think Jeremy has reached out to me, but n- neither, no one has uh, enough in their wallet to trade me yet. I have point is there, seven. Is there any alternative like, way to get that zero. without just like clicking on the things? I, I think mean, it'll be like two days. Two days of it, yeah, the big it's one. Not much. Two or three days of the big one, and you'll have enough. One of them does like between two hundred thousand and a million. Every time you click it, you can do that twice a day. Mm-hmm. Um, and you do that two or three times, and you and you'll have enough. Okay, thanks. Cool. What was the big yeah. one called again? I I did a few, but I only have like point zero 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 one. Yeah, I mean that means you have a million. That means you have a million. It does. It does. Like in mojos. Yeah. So um, yeah, there is a conversion that I I don't think I mentioned, but since you said the word Roger mojos, um, a uh, a a million mojos. Search for right now. A million mojos is what is it? Roger, can you find it in our chat? We chat all the time, so there's so much. 
the uh i know i always forget which one it is it's um the one it's it's the uh oh i don't know the faucet here it is so a million mojos is point zero 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 one that is five zeros followed by a one um i have like 10 zeros so yeah if you if you have if you have one million mojos which is point zero 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 one then that's enough the really good one is chia faucet uh faucet dot directory lib dot com that one will give you like between three hundred thousand and six hundred thousand each time you hit it, and you can do it twice a day. Most of the others will only give you a hundred grand each time you do it. There's another one that'll give you a hundred thousand, and then you can roll dice and to, to try to like play play roulette basically, um, on black yeah. and white. But I so always, Roger lose. that I always lose. I always get really high, and then I go for the big double, and I lose. <laughs> um that one that you mentioned the directory lib is the mojo jojo one which i which is the one that i now have like five in but i i i, I think it goes to a separate it's a separate coin so it gives you a lot but i think it's a separate coin so it really doesn't give you a lot no i got mojos you did from that okay yeah yeah, yeah, they have a separate coin, but no, you get three hundred thousand to six hundred thousand mojos. Oh, and then it also gives you the Mojo Jojo token. Okay. Yeah, I th and I think they have another token. Yeah. Oh, it does say enter your address and claim XEH and MJO cat token. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Thanks. That um, might be new, yeah. but you Maybe. but no, you do get mojos. That's where I get all mine. Okay, yeah, so that, that is a big one. I know that one's a big one. Um, and then the other one you said where you roll dice, that's the one I showed where um, it collects it for a little while until you reach a certain limit, um, and then you can cash out. But I, I hit big today. <laughs> well, I, I hit big today. I was, I was good at the casino today. You did? I lose. I, 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 I get way up and lose every single time. It's easy. I, cashed, I cashed out today. So Good. Um, yeah, but those, those are, I mean, if you visit them all, I, like I said, I think there's eight or ten of them. Um, if, if you hit them all, it will be a few days, as Roger said, two, three days tops to, to trade that. I I found the the dice uh, thing. I, I feel like I'm on chia chiafaucet.com, um, but I I was on this site before. I forget the link. There was like like a bunch of them, and I, I what was that again? Oh, chia uh, chia links .com. Yeah, that's got a whole bunch of faucets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, are these these are not doing anything like? Remember when you were, you know, like a teenager and accidentally seeded a bunch of torrents and wondered why the family computer was like destroyed? Forgetting no, here. this is not that. Okay, this I have to, I had to ask. Is my my laptop is like this? Is my life is on this laptop. Yeah, no, these these are legit. They they will actually. So the way most of these work is uh, one of two ways. Uh, the first way is. You can you can go out and spend sixty five dollars or whatever it is, and go spend actual real life money to get one XCH. That's a one point zero 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 zero, right? You, just one. Um, so you can go do that, then uh, you know whatever. Um, then you can trade me a certain amount of that to uh, to get your founder token. Um, and then you can trade some other people to get whatever other tokens. Um, and you know, if that's the way you want to go to spend your $65 and I'm not going to stop you. Um, the other way, so, so people do that and then, and then, you know, me, you and everyone else hits that wallet and says, Hey, can I have some please? And then they'll give you some of that. Right. And that's why it's point zero 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 one because they spent actual real life money. Um, the other way, 
the other way that it's done is um, if, say, I had a whole bunch of extra XCH, I could actually donate that to them, which then they turn around and give to other people who are, who's requesting. So it's not like LimeWire back in the day where it's going to, um, you know, put a put a virus on your computer or anything. Uh, it's completely safe. All it's doing is sending to your wallet. And really, your wallet doesn't even live on your computer. Your wallet is an address on the blockchain that is holds these coins. So, All right. so there's, there's no implications for security of just giving out your wallet address alone, right? Correct. Right. Correct. Okay. Just don't give anybody your seed phrase. Interestingly enough, the yeah. guy who's who literally built Chia is also the guy that built BitTorrent back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, and a couple other things, but yeah, 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 yeah. being the big one. Yes, but no, yeah. So you okay. can you can tell anybody your wallet address. Just don't give them your seed phrase. Don't ever give anybody your seed phrase. Okay, not no, even well, me. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not retarded. I literally put that in a private <laughs> GitHub repository. Like, not just. I didn't want to lose it. Um, I wrote it on a piece of paper and put it under my mattress. Oh, okay, I'm I not going to have that much money in crypto. <laughs> I, uh, what am I, oh god, I'm so, I haven't slept in like 38 hours. Um, I've just opened all of the, the tabs of the Chia links, and I'm just going to do them all. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, every day. Ooh, the I would say is I... an extended maintenance mode. Come back tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a couple that are. Wait, what are the games? Wait, can you, can you, like, the games... That's the dice roll one. That's the yeah. dice. Yeah, the one that you're on is busted. Get off of that. Oh, is it bets one. like a casino? Yeah. No, it's it's like roulette. You mm -hmm. roll dice. You either get above fifty one or below forty eight. Okay. This is yeah. I mean, you're you're betting free money, right? That has come to you, and so you just bet it, and then eventually you can pay yourself out. Okay, this is pretty neat. This is something mindless I will happily do right now because yeah, and oh and do it God. every day. Do it every day because it it will only help eventually, right? If that, like that would give you a hundred thousand every hour. Yeah, yeah, that that. But then everybody loses it because they gamble. They it play away. dice. Yeah, I get, I get too excited. I'm like yeah, I'm gonna get all the way. Wait, which one's that See, one? See, guys, I don't. I got it. I got a 2.4 in networks class, computer networks, so not great on blockchain, but I'm I'm very good at probability theory, so I I don't gamble. I've never lost money gambling like in a casino. Well, yeah. Better than me. Okay. Well, it's just all um, under maintenance. Like, Ojo yeah, there's there's two or three that are under maintenance. So, um, and and they have been for a few days. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we, they're. Uh, it's, not a it's not a criticism. This is like free money, so. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, on that note, I'm gonna be done talking. Yeah.